an eclectic mix of musicians from around the world. I'm Jill Horner. This is Comcast Newsmakers. With me this hour is Chris Cannon. He is executive director of the Berks Arts Council. Thanks for being with us. Thanks, Jill. This is a fun time of year where we celebrate jazz and people from around the region come to Berks County. Talk to us a little bit about how the Jazz Fest works. Absolutely. Well, it's, um, it's in its 21st year. It is, uh, it's one of the top five jazz fests in the country, and what's unique about it is that it's, it's not just a concerts in a single venue. It's spread out over the community, so we got concerts in churches and bars and hotels, ballrooms, and of course you know, the performing arts centers uh, that are known in our community uh, as sort of the main headliners, but it's everywhere. That's what's amazing about the Jazz Fest. You can't get away from it. You go and it's here, and any, any venue you probably walk into has got something related to it, and artists come from all over the world, uh, definitely the United States, to perform here. And that's attracted a lot of regional appeal. And not just regional, we do have international visitors who come as well, from Europe mostly. What does this uh, event mean to the local and regional economy? It's huge. Uh, it is the largest festival uh, in the, the Greater Berks area, and it brings in about $6 million total revenue once you spread out hotels, you know, restaurants, and all the other things that that infusion happens in Reading because of this festival. So it's, it's a pretty big deal. And the reason people are coming is for the music and some amazing musicians, some you may discover for the first time, but some have been around really for generations. For a long point. time, some of them, yes. Um, we're really thrilled and excited this year to have back, he is returning to the Brooks Jazz Fest, uh, Mr. Dave Brubeck, who is a jazz legend, you know, a l serious living legend, uh, who recently had a documentary made about him by another living legend, Clint Eastwood, uh, that was aired on TCM, and it was just a really interesting look at, at his life and his career and what he's contributed to jazz. It's, it's not just simply a, oh, here's a jazz musician, like he almost d helped define, you know, the music genre. So it's really exciting to have him. He's going to be here. Uh, he's 90 years old and he's still performing, still making it happen. It's pretty thrilling. You have some other big names as well. Yeah. We've got um, we've got Trombone Shorty, uh, which is always a great uh, success, a very successful uh, you know, jazz musician, and uh, Al Jarreau as well, who is also like uh, Dave Brubeck, who has been around a while and has done a lot of things and has influenced the genre. So it's a great lineup. I mean, we're really excited about to have them all, and that's only a few, not to mention all the other uh, newer jazz artists, some of them who are who will be supporting these guys. One of the great things about this jazz fest is that area children have the chance to kind of jam with these professionals. Professional musicians. Yeah, I mean, who knew? You know, that's uh, it, it, literally it's it's an educational endeavor that the jazz Fest has been doing for several years, and uh, the the musicians will go into uh, the schools and, and have the opportunity to let the children sit in and let them show them how to do their instruments. And then, if that wasn't enough, then they get to play with them in a special little concert after the fact. So it's extremely valuable uh, for the education of anybody, any child who is interested in music or who may be trying to learn an instrument to, to learn from these, these professionals. It's just an amazing experience. Now in addition to jamming with some area young musicians, some of the students, uh, these musicians are, are going to be playing together. Yes, they will. Uh, which is a really uh, another unique point about our Jazz Fest is that there is a jazz uh, jam, if you will, in which uh, a lot of the headliners will just show up together and start to improv, you know, and play at the same time. And that's it's such a unique experience for the audience because a lot of times it happens uh, in the vicinity of the Crown Plaza Hotel, which is our, our central headquarters. You know, and people, if you go and sit at the bar there, you know, a lot of times the musicians are just getting in and they'll they'll walk in and then all of a sudden, you know, what, the one playing on the stage will be like, "Hey, what's up, man? Come on up," you know, and like join us, and they'll and they will. And I mean, that's you can't really advertise that or make that happen. It's like in the moment, so it's. It's very, it's very interactive like that, and it's what makes it unique. And a lot of fun, and uh, the, as you mentioned, different locations, venues throughout the area, musicians from around the world, and this all happens March 25th through April 3rd, and we should think about getting our tickets ahead of time. Oh, absolutely. You want to get them right now as soon as you can. Um, Jazzfest, uh, BerksJazzFest.com is the place to go, uh, and they are sold through Ticketmaster. Right. So Thanks so much. Fun. We've been talking with Chris Cannon. I'm Jill Horner.